Hi all, in this demonstration I'm going to introduce you to the variational flange introduced in NX2312, the December 23 release. So if we try to create a flange on the edge of a part that looks like this, let's for example look at advanced flange. If we select this edge we'll see a, a, an alert here that says the advanced flange is not supported on the edge of a bend. So let's now take a look at the variational flange and if I select this edge now the tangent edge is selected and we can now create a flange on the edge of bends. Let's look through some of the parameters here. We'll look at length law type and angle law type a little bit later but we can adjust the length as we can with a conventional flange. No, no issues there. We can swap the sides that it's effective from. No issues there too. And of course we can change the angle. So it operates like a conventional flange. One point to note out here is when the edges or faces coincide or intersect as the length is increased. So if I just add six, I go eight. If I go 10, okay, if I go beyond there, 11, we can see that the length and bend angle values create an intersecting web, and of course that fails. So we've got some error checking in there to prevent too much going on. I can change the radius value, and I can change the neutral factor. Once the feature is committed, you'll see an information alert in the part navigator that says use flattening and forming command from the modeling application to flatten this geometry. Currently, variational flange is not supported by flat pattern. So let's go on to a second example here. We can explore some of the additional functions within the flange properties part of the dialog. And some of these are limited to coplanar edges. So if I pick an edge here, and create a length, nothing new. If I change the length law type to linear, I can change the length of the start and end of the flange. So it will change from 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters with a linear fashion. So that's our length law type for linear. I can do a similar thing with the angle law type and I can change the angle value from one value to another. And we can see here that I'm starting at 10 millimeter flange from the length reference is the inside. I can make this outside web or tangent and my angle is starting at 90 degrees and ending at 50 degrees. So we've got some very interesting possibilities and capabilities with variational flange. Let's look at one more example here, a uh, slightly more complex part. This is quite typical within some industries where the, uh, the part needs to be manufactured to support uh, bracketry, to support some level of framework or components and making it into thinner material but strengthening the edges of the material rather than using uh, a thicker material grade. So if we start the variational flange, I'll just reset this all back to constant. Let's say we have a length of five, angle of 90. I'm gonna put in a tight bend radius and select the tangent edge all the way around this part. And we can create a supporting edge, just reduce that there uh, to strengthen this part for the purpose intended. So that's variational flange.